Hey there YouTube, welcome back to this week's episode of Tool Tip Third Day. Today's tool tip is about a timing gun. And what you can use this for is to test your ignition timing, set your ignition timing, and the way you would do that is you would look up, you know, what your timing setting is, or if you mod have a modified engine, you'll just know what your timing setting is based on trial error, or whatever. So there's going to be marks down here on the crank pulley, which I'll show you later. And what this does is it's a strobe light in the end of here. And that flashes down there, and what it does makes it look like it's standing still, and you'll have a mark on your crankshaft pulley, or in this case it'll be a crankshaft pulley and the marks and it'll line up to the degree marking on that tab. So the first thing you'll do is hook it up to your battery which I've already done. As you can see this one is an advanced model with the tack and all that stuff in it. It's flashing because the engine's not running or it's not getting an RPM signal. So it's wanting me to hook this up and start the engine. So you'll hook this up to your number one spark plug boot. like that and then you go start it which I'm going to do So you can see here the engine's idling in the 7 to 800 region. So this will tell you your RPM, which you can use for setting timing, because you'll need to know that kind of stuff sometimes. Uh, and it actually works for two-stroke and four-stroke engines. Right now it's an RPM setting, and we can set it to the advanced setting. And you can see it's strobing. So I'll move the camera down and show you what I'm looking at. It's probably going to be pretty hard to pick up on camera, but there's a white mark on that on the uh, crank pulley and it corresponds to uh, about 16 degrees right now on that mark. It goes from 0 to 20 in my case. And one thing that's really nice is to say if I wanted to be at 16, which I do, if you only have a 0 mark, what you can do is go ahead and knock this up to 16. And what that'll do is it's going to align that that mark in your crank pulley with your zero or wherever you put it, you do some math. But in this case, it's going to be at zero now, which it is. That's pretty neat. This is actually one of my favorite tools because you can make an engine run very differently just by using the timing line and adjusting the timing. And um, actually, I can use it when I use the the tack here. I can use it to set up governor RPM and stuff like that on lawnmowers, and you can set up your your top end RPMs for you know chainsaws and weed eaters and stuff like that. So that's pretty neat. Um, I'm gonna shut this thing down. So that is a timing light if you've never seen one before. And um, you can get these anywhere. You can get them without. You can get them where they just strobe when you push a button. And uh, I had one of those. I got a couple of those actually. I was going to say I had one for a long time, but I still do have some like that and they work fine. Uh, I just wanted the fancy one so I could set up dynamic timing and, and that kind of stuff. So, but that's going to cover the tool tip third day episode for the timing gun or timing light so 
Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, again, let me know if you uh, think of any tools you want to see that I might have or might not have. Just let me know. We'll see what we can do. So until next time, see ya.